in storage. There's a point where uh, we've labeled add when it gets to here. Uh, then we also have a 140 liter mark on the on the tank itself, and we have instructions which read add 10 cups to 140 liters, mix 30 minutes, let sit for 24 hours, and then drain into the dosing tank. We've got this is the valve over here, which goes from the uh, from the mixing tank to the holding tank. We've also got a valve on the other side, which is the drain to the sump pit which if you need to clean the bottom of the tank, you would do. And then um, we've also got a timer here and 30 minutes is one of these buttons here. That's the recommendation, that's what we're gonna go with. We've got the hose here, which fills the water. And uh, we're gonna do... Step one is to fill the tank to the 140 liter mark. The tank is filled, turn off the hose. If you've overfilled the tank, you can drain it with the sump drain down below. Don't forget to close the valve afterwards. The next step is the most important one, which is to don your PPE before handling chlorine. Now that you've done your PPE, you can add chlorine to the water. Never add water to chlorine. It creates a stronger, a stronger chemical that if it splashes on you, is gonna be much more caustic than the other way around. If you can lift the jug up here, great. Remove the lid. of your chlorine and add 10 cups Place the lid on the tank. And trigger the timer for half an hour. The timer is beside the plug. You'll see a green light here beside the half hour timer. <laughs> Make a note of the time that you mix the chlorine at. It needs to sit for 24 hours, and once that's done, you open the valve and drain it into the sump tank. So now that the chlorine mixture has sat for 24 hours, um, you open the valve to drain from the mixing tank to the holding tank. The granular chlorine in the bucket is a strong oxidant and degrades more quickly if left uncovered, out in the sun, or near heat source. 
Store the buckets in the chlorine room. The containers can explode when heated or exposed to acids or other substances. See the safety data sheet in the manual on calcium hypochlorite.